Good evening, Speed Gaming. Welcome to a three-way Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer Weekly Race, which we're showing off something a little different tonight between Icarus, William in Texas, and Rat Boy. I'll get into that in a minute. Leslie Pro, joined by Sharky tonight. How you doing? I'm doing good. It's been a while, so... Gotta love some Marios. Maybe a Luigi in there, you never know. So what world are we going to start at, you thinking? Okay, so apparently, do you hear us now at least? And of course, we're starting in World 6 Ice Place. So, yeah, we got some Hammer Bros, Angry Sun, and a Star Run. Oh god, Fire Bros everywhere. On ice. So yeah, and I kind of looked away and missed the item there. So we got a desert level here, Piranha Fort. So yeah, <laughs> at least we got a star for the Piranha Fort. <laughs> and we see nice, lovely Tanuki. Of course, we got. Uh, you know, Fort Knox early on. So yeah, World Seven Forts and World Six. You are a little, a little early, but eh, close enough. So, let's see, we have some Marios running around. Ooh, that sledge worm is. We got Rat Boy there. We just 
just gotta sign up, Leslie. So, we're, I think we're trying to get that fixed. Well, let's try this again now, shall we? Discord being Discord, am I right? I guess that's true. Discord wants to be Discord. It's like 6-8 wanted to have a boss bass tonight. But is our boss bass is hungry? Yes, but not fast enough to catch Icarus. I like the jingle, just slowly waiting for that last music note to play. We do have a fort lock, and our last fort is 3F2. Oh no! That is just a series of unfortunate events, and a Ooh. game over. Ouch. Unfortunately, the levels you got played comes back, but the forts will, you know, still be broken if you're beating them and everything. Still keep your items as well, so that's nice. Let's see, how many hits for Boom Boom? I guess Boom Boom's not changed, or in the random, it's changed now, right? Yeah, now there's a flag to where you can ra Oh no, the star ran out! And it looked like 3F2 was the answer to get out of World 6. And it is Icarus on her way. Yeah, as we mentioned about difference in the flags, I guess when you try to explain it, Discord was being a butt, but... We got possible warp bristles, I, I heard, so... That's gonna be interesting. Personally, oh, it would be. I don't know. You don't, I don't know too much you don't about it. World. Skip it. Hello, H, with the one up above it. Hello, Boss Bass. How are you doing today? Just never, never. Don't feed a Boss Bass. Well, Leslie, what are you thinking of the, about the Kaizo Boom Boom? Do we need them? That's some scary stuff. I don't know if they want to deal with them tonight. And we go to World 1 with just 4F2 as the one and only fort. And let's see. This should be a quick f fort, at least. Hello, Boo. How are you doing? You gotta have fun. So I'm guessing... Simultaneous Boom Boom kills between Rat Boy and Icarus in two different forts, and we get 7F1. I'm assuming we don't have the randomized HP Boom Booms in this flag set? I don't think so. But my Next eyes are open please. up for any irregularities and shenanigans like that. Ooh. Oh, that cheap Close cheap. Spot. That cheap cheap wanted to launch. Oh, and that's a oh, hitbox no. for Rat Boy, but Rat Boy is out of World 1. Yep. And William's making through back through uh, the uh, Fort Knox real quick. Ooh, a des more desert. 2-2, two, two, the first quicksand featured level. Goombas want to swim too. Let's see, we got a Jack 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 Cloud. Jack That'll bass. help. Now, looking at the coin ship for William. While well, Icarus comes up on a Sledge Bro combination. Oh. A nice, uh. Sledge Bro. Please. Right through. William's got a hammer. And we got a star, star for Icarus and an orb for Rat Boy. All the things. 
And look, world, the Sega World is about done already. Yeah, it's the World 7 airship, which is, uh, can be very unfriendly. I've died so many times on this airship because one of the gears doesn't spawn and I just miss my jump. Yeah, I've gotten used to gears not spawning for some reason. It's just that whenever I have it, I know how, what jump to take when the gear isn't there. And if I have a tail, I just don't worry about it. Because the tail really makes the World 7 airship a lot easier. Exactly. Chat's already calling out the next world as Icarus is done with Grassland. You know what? And that bridge it's missing would have been built on the completion of 7F2. But William was having trouble with it and decided to move on. Which you know wound up being a good decision because that fort is not necessarily required. Let's go with four. Let's see, we got... Oh, I was off. It was three. And we do it have two hammers. Seven, four. Yeah, we do have two hammers. So, if any runners that has two hammers wants a double hammer to break rock, rock they can. They could, but that doesn't necessarily mean they should, because that pipe could very easily lead to another point in the world. Now, on the flip side, if it leads to that pipe that's locked by that lock, then by all means, Double Hammer is a perfectly good play here. Yeah, beat the level first, obviously, so you can check that pipe. I just don't get cheap cheaped. Blooper, you're not cheap cheap. Ratboy's out of World 2, and William is getting a fire kill on Iggy. Very nice. And we got a 1-up. <laughs> yeah, at that point, I would definitely double hammer. Because you're gonna, or not, Icarus not feeling the double hammer here, which is fine. But I don't know if there are settings with hammer breaking locks or not turned on. I don't think so because it's basically a bracket flag type mystery bracket, as I tend to call it, because it's basically adds the flat mystery element. Oh, and it looks like the World One Rock is not breaking tonight. That is an option that can be turned on or put under the shuffle flag option in the randomizer. Which, if it does break, it skips two levels. There's so much feels like it's been added recently, too, like with randomization of Boom Boom's HP. Oh, thing. yeah. And Icarus Star ran out right before Boom Boom, so no orb. But just your usual run of the mill three hits, nothing crazy. Yeah, the Mac Patchers definitely added a lot to this randomizer in recent times. Maybe, I don't know, next tournament we're going to use the Patcher. Still, you know, information we don't know yet. To be determined. I personally haven't even used it, so I gotta figure stuff out. Uh, William oh, William yeah. did what I've done in 3-3. Three, three. Miss time to jump, don't get over the wall, and have to wait out the P-switch, and then swim up, jump up and over. Is it 6-F-1? Our favorite thing to do? Just jump on the elevator. Yep. Oh, oh, and here's oh. another one! Rap Boy busting out the 6F1 clip! You love to see it! That will save some time. Doesn't save all that much, though, Sharky, compared to, say, Door 3. Because you would need to have fire to really make that into a time save, compared to, say, the orb. But, 
It looks really cool. All the same. Yeah, I always go for door three. When I can. Sometimes if I, if I feel like, you know what? I don't want to do it. Ooh, that's funny. It barely gets up the pipe as it's the World 6 airship. No first class clip this time. I need to learn that. I need to practice that a little bit myself. <laughs> well, lately oh. for me, the clips have betrayed me at the wrong time, but it is what it is. Hi, Wendy, how are you doing? You got Wendy's your. at least doing? three, at least four. How about four, four hits? A little spicier of a Wendy, but not too bad. Yeah, some sometime soon I oh what 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 with that, you can skip a world you don't want to deal with. Say World 7 comes up, skip it. World 5 is another one. Yeah, this is where World 5 Icarus considered skipping it, but decided against it. Probably yeah. because we have yet to see World 7. So we found 1, 3, 6, and, well, 5. So we're missing 2, 4, 6. Seven? Yep, desert, giant, and pipes. Hmm. And no, not the metal pipe that falls to make that meme. I'm talking about the pipe maze. <laughs> I would not want to use it on World 2 unless it's your last world, you haven't used it, then use it. Yeah, last world's basically a good spot to use it. We got a navy. Time for some salutes in chat. Are we saluting a bomb bomb that got blasted a mile away? Oh, that was close again and spiky spiked on uh, the boom boom there. So Rap Boy used the warp whistle to take a temporary lead, and I say temporary because the next world is the pipe maze. But, finds the army level. Now, if this is a warp whistle, then Rat Boy has a huge advantage. Potentially. Oh, and William takes a slip and fall down to hole in 7-3. Oh, wait, those oh. super tanks. Excuse me. And oh. Icarus also takes a tumble. What in the wide world is... Oh, I see. Okay. Maybe you tried using a cloud and it backfired. That's something you hate to see. I didn't uh, really see, so bear with me. <laughs> yeah, third time's a charm for this level. Yes, it is. I'm about to say, like it to, don't you dare. We don't want to snipe at the goal. But William will take a 5 up. <coughs> and Icarus is taking a charge and a hammer, bro. Ooh, a peewing. Always a nice find. <laughs> and that, that other hammer bro is like, yeah, I'm not moving. Oh, oh no. yeah. It, well, oh. Icarus might get a use out of that peewing she just found. 100 coin vine? Yep, courtesy of an exploding bomb. Oh, that is a bad time to short a jump. 6F1. Now we do have a P-Wings in our inventory, so... Easy. Yeah, that's the right time to... That's a good spot to use a P-Wing. 7-6. You don't have to clip it, you can fly up and over. I just got a number 7-6, you can fly 
Uh, you gotta clip. Oh, or no. if you're on the Mac patch, your clipping's been disabled, you gotta suck it up and deal with it. Oh, no. Yeah, I know, I had that in practice at one week, and 7-5 showed up in that practice seed with the fire enemy set. I just rolled another seed because it was just giving me the business. Yo, I think, was it last week somebody had a bad clip in a beta level and just had a sit there forever, unfortunately? Yeah, that sounds about Oh, we got a 4-2 oh, no. with a double boss bass! Prepare for trouble! Make it double! Giant fish, that is! Oh, oh but... but it's the flying cheap cheap that causes a fatality! Those cheap cheeps can be. you know. Cheap. Yep. Cheap but and. rude. The same uh, cheap cheap! And there's a lip boxing! But Icarus is out. Yeah, yeah that MIDI, that one, could, MIDI just... that could happen to anybody, and I'm pretty sure with my luck it would happen to me. And we got 4 6. Boss Bass incoming! Two levels in a row. And we're not playing around with this Boss Bass. Let's see the enemy set here. Yeah, oh. four six is a level where if you don't like the enemy set, enter a door. If you go to the first door and go back in, at least the boss pass won't respawn. True that. And that wound up being a good call by Rat Boy to skip over Desert Hill, rather skip over the pipes. And is getting out of Desert Hill now. Well, Icarus is gonna have some work to catch up. Uh, Icarus probably will skip the next level, though. And the next world. World 7 was a very fast world, however, so... It could even things up, but Rappo is just about out of the 6th world. And we got double 1 grab. And then... Yeah. Burned fire. Ouch. <laughs> Try to be two text boxes at once. Yeah, make, I know, right? Don't read them out loud and try to go back and forth. You probably won't make sense. You gotta leave, and I didn't catch all the things. And Icarus is gonna skip seven to go into two. And that is, and this is a seed where actually hammering the rock that is above the spade panel near four one vanilla is a great call. But William eats a ring. Yeah. And now we know. Hammers do not break locks, so we hear a nope sound. Ooh, a coin ship over here. All the I almost said rupees on accident. All the coins you can handle. <laughs> this is not the Zelda randomizer, which has the rupees, but Yeah, that was earlier today, and both of us called it an AZ1R race earlier. Both races were pretty darn good in their own way. Yep. Definitely worth going back to watch those. Yep, two different races. We've two different races down. between two different runners, sets of runners, both very good. It's like, why not do a second commentary? Uh, of the night, you know? And with that... The bridge is built. Rat Boy is on his way to the final airship. But here's the thing. 
You, that boy did cloud. I probably would have entered a pipe and just went back through. So, in case of a death happen, you don't want to redo a whole level. Meanwhile, for William, it's see a fort, play a fort into super tanks. Oh, we got a heavy Koopa. Four hitter? And it's a five, five hit hit. heavy. Good lord. Chat's already calling out for bridges. Three? How about two? Yeah. Hmm, you know what? I'll go with two minus one. So three, but one of them is not required. Got it. Because you don't see that often, the minus one aspect. We got a lock up front that leap blocks nothing. Oh, Looks God, like we got some things. pretty sizable action here in the Dark Maze, starting with 5F1, Le Forgotten Fort. Round Fort, Forgotten Fort. Potato, potato, but that's a good time to find a star just so you can pee speed through the rest of that fort. And of course, here's another boom boom. Water 4 was pretty quick as well. It's like. That's the real tank near the first fort of World 4, and it is 6F2. Yeah, too bad to say this is not validated because we already seen. Uh, Underwater fort. Oh. Yeah, well, 3F2 early, I don't mind because honestly, I feel my movement's better on that fort small compared to having a power. Oh, look at this. We've got a rare World 8 sighting of the first fort. Probably for that lock on the first screen, but it's definitely worth to maybe try to fly up for an item to see if it's like a hammer suit or a fire flower at this point. Oh. <laughs> it, wait, no, that's not World 8. That is a warp whistle, so William getting some goods. I would save that puppy for one of the two remaining worlds. Was well, that the only one that we've seen, too? So. No, that's the second one we've seen. So William found another warp whistle that we didn't know about. And I thought that was in World 8, that's my mistake. So does William have both? Bo so, correct. So I gotta issue a correction. With the warp whistles on, it's apparently always a warp whistle. That is good to know. Boy in the spikes. Ooh, that was close. Icarus, that was dicey, but you got through. Rat boys through spike fort, William through pipe maze. And we got simultaneous fun grabs again. That's like, what, the second or the third time we had simultaneous wand grabs? It's a one breaker! Oh, look at this! Rap Boy has found the path through! My cat's breath smells like cat food. Did William find two, both work? Warp bristles or just so Well, if he found two, he would have been able to skip both remaining worlds. But with how quick this world's gonna be, why bother skipping it? Just play the fort that's up here, and you're on your way. And you can skip world four. There's just various ways to play this, depending on how the seeds will play out. And Rat Boy's taking the bottom route here. Oh, this, this seed, what the heck? A star in a room here? I would I believe Rat Boy was looking for a fire flower. Didn't find one. 
So we'll have to do Bowser the old fashioned way. Now when the Koopa kids hit, well when Bowser and the Koopalings hit boxes fixed, you can't do this. You actually have to actively move around <coughs> and try and get the hole built that way. So there's no cheese strap. Oh god, just imagine that's gonna be enabled in a tournament. I'm gonna be so used to like, I'm just gonna chill here. Dead. Splat. And I'll probably goop, I'll be sad. Meanwhile, get your GG's in chat for Rap Boy, who's bringing it home with a very impressive showing. Yep. And he finishes with an official time of 29 minutes, one second. Really quick, see you too. And time to check a couple of pipes here. Is this the pipe? At least another pipe. And we got 2F. Not too bad. You know, sometimes Peach just hands out garbage. But William is in World 8 now. Not too far behind. Not too bad. And we got... A, a second runner in the, uh... Bowser's Fort. <laughs> I just had a little trouble getting that one up clip. Also takes the bottom route. Probably also looking for There's a power up on the bottom route, that's why. It's not gonna yield a flower today, but it could potentially. No rat boy, so there was a second whistle that was found by William, and it was in World 1-4, which was in the fifth world. William was destroying a couple of things on a way. <laughs> Get through that room. Just being small Mario, just giving Bowser hugs. You gotta enjoy it. Yeah, because with regular hitboxes, Bowser's hitbox, like his ego, is in his head. Get your GG's in chat for Icarus, who's gonna take second in this race and overall. I'm guessing we will have a second race here once this one concludes. And William's not too far behind, so... And with that, Icarus has finished with an official time of... 32 minutes, 30 seconds. So it's about three and a half, about three and a half minutes difference. It's not terrible. The route, the decision of using a warp whistle, what's the difference? Yeah, the decision to warp whistle 
in five to warp through five was definitely a big difference maker. So everybody warped in a different world. Bad boy warped in world five. Icarus pipe plan and well, William got a warp portal late and just warped world four. And the way is clear for William to charge Bowser's castle. Jeez, this seat felt like it had a lot of hammers and no, not enough places to use them. Can we just use a hammer at Bowser's castle and just destroy the castle instead? <laughs> no, I think we'd need a ginormous sword called Exor for that, but that's in another game. Actually, no, that's not even an item. <gasps> oh, I thought William just took a plunge in the lava down there. He but took a long punch. Oh, that boo followed him. Okay, that right there is scary enough. Well, he's going top, I say to heck with this noise. Oh, double laser. Now, with the patcher, we do have an option to turn on faster falling donut blocks so you can, like, barely be on it for, like, one second real time before it just drops oh you know and I, I know you mentioned like earlier disable clipping uh, i like to clip into into bowser's room oh game doesn't let you clip in those situations oh that's a fireball hit oh no william got caught by bowser's hitbox and he got bowser bombed Ouch! <laughs> and uses a hammer anyway, out of frustration. Don't blame him. Don't blame him out at all. Yeah, frustration can make us do some really strange and unusual things. How are you doing over there, Mr. Boo? Just being a ghost, the normal self. At least you got. At least you get a one up back for free. Now let's see how William fares with a leaf, and which is two power ups. What are words? I'm assuming with the patcher as well, you could go with the Japanese hitbox hits. Oh yeah, the J hitbox system is definitely a thing. There's also a time attack system that gets used. Oh. So I wonder how that time attack thing works. Each hit you take, you lose a hundred seconds. <coughs> God, no, just no, no. One hit away. Oh! Oh, jeez, the clench is real. And that fireball just screen wrapped. Did you all see that? Oh, God. Can somebody please clip that? Just when you think you've seen it all with this game. I've never seen that myself. Oh. I Ooh, never that was dicey. Get your GGs in chat for William. That was a very sweaty Bowser fight. So, as I was saying, I've never seen the fireball do that before. Like you said, do you think you've seen it all? Nope. Nope. And what? And William's official time was 37 minutes, 48 seconds. Yeah, and with you... that, we are done with our first race. Stay tuned, as in the next 
few minutes, we are getting set up for a second game. So we will see you in a bit. Yep. And well, I guess we're back for game two. Same flags said as last time. And a different person to get blamed for this time. So who's already ready for this? I know I am. So the first run was very interesting. I'm not used to there being a warp whistle in certain spots, but hey. Things that the randomizer has changed over the years, reverted back. Let's see how they play out with race number two. Yes, there are warp whistles, because what these will do is they will just send you to the next world. I believe there is an option where you could warp to a random world. But we don't want to make it too easy. I've or never tried hard. it out myself. Or, you know, you're in a war, like, uh, I, I think I go to ne World 8. Goes back to the first world of the seed. Then you're over there yelling at yourself. I can picture the obscenities that would get yelled at. Oh, look, World 1 to start. We've got two forts. <laughs> and the first stage is World 1 fort. This is where one of the warp whistles are. Will we be able to fly to get it? I don't know. But we're starting off with three mushrooms. So that's a good sign. Can we get a... And a star in Icaros Ragus! Mm. I think Icaros wants that warp whistle. Oh my goodness. Okay, Rat Boy, I see you there with that fancy clip. Oh, yeah, because it makes sense, because you get a power-up from another level and go back in. Oh, and William just got shelled those by a ginormous shell. That looked painful. Ratboy realized it in hit reset, but that clip was still really cool. Yeah, but it is interesting to see how these runners are handling this. Knowing that it's a warp whistle, when it's just a random power-up, they just clear the fort, no problem. Oh, William tried to hit the block, and instead of shouting, was like, eh, no, not today. And this time we have a... Icarus will have a tail, Rat Boy will have a tail, William, on the other hand, is going back to start. There's our whistle on Icarus's side. Yeah, I forgot. The Navy. Yeah, I've kind of. I thought for some reason Rat Boy did beat a boom boom, but you know. You wanted the leaf, so he hit the reset button. <laughs> and just knock out boom boom. It's one, two, three. Easily done. You know, William I, has hit the vine block. Having a little trouble. It's up to it. If this is a tanuki suit, that also counts as a tail. It's a frog suit. And we oh, got a 7 hello. 9 with a boss bass. Forget clipping under the pipes in this scenario, because that is exceptionally dangerous. Yeah, you're gonna have to clip Oh, yeah, you can absolutely reset, say, if things go horrendously wrong. Like, say, you start taking a lot of deaths on the first level, you just hit the reset button to go back and start again with fresh lives. Is this gonna be a leap? Oh, we gotta leave in that block. Oh William my goodness, Rat Boy, you are giving me a heart, causing me to about have a heart attack without dangerous you playing that. 
Oh, William, gotta be careful. Up and over, and William's gonna have that warp whistle. Icarus takes a hit. Is Larry's being rude? A uh, five hitter to start with. Oof. What world's next, folks? The first one is off the board, so... Six factorial for Vanilla World Order? Just saying. It's been a while since I've called a Vanilla World Order seed. I've called one before. I've called a RBO seed before. Those are interesting. Just funny. Because you never expect it to happen. Yeah, I think I called the first one with LOZ Cards fan. Neither of us expected it. Now, this is a world I'd consider skipping. It's World 6, it's early, and it looks like it could be a long one. Oh! Ouch. Hit that by the started... Kotobo right before getting the star. At least it was a power up to burn. Otherwise, that could have been a real tragedy. Yeah, it just sucks. Like, yeah, one frame away from the star, and you get killed. That would be just sad. William drops down to take out Boss Bass. I'm not sure how good of a move that was because that fish is just gonna follow you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's quite dirty. Mad Boy makes it through the level before I, yeah, before Icarus I can eight two, but is taking a death? I think that might have been planned. So, yep, that was planned to see the other level. The other level is five seven. I'd I say think... it's the better of the two, as she and Rat Boy are neck and neck. Oh my goodness, that one might have to go to video review because the shell and the spiny were right on top of each other, but the game gives it to the bad guys. Rude, I know. But, or did the spiny want to wear a helmet to be more protected? You never know. Nice use of the star there by Rat Boy to mow down the Hammer Bros and get a star. He's a star. William's about to join him in World Six. Does he got to take down the Cooperlings? It's a five hitter, but and star for a star. And we got Cloud and Progress. Oh yeah, there's three Hammer Bros around here. And that's one of the reasons why I would have skipped World 6, because the pipes would have been a crapshoot, and in this case, they rolled a... They rolled a craps number, for sure. I didn't even see what item that third one was. <coughs> okay, now, I do know that we have an anchor in inventory... And even with warp whistles on, I don't think that can be a warp whistle. William's gonna take the lead with that whistling. It's off to three. So, did World 6 ruin the uh, vanilla world or order? Yeah, it did, but you know what? It is what it is. Oh, we got a 7-6 for Rat Boy. I mean, these two forts right here in World 3, this is the chance to be a very short world.
the 7.6 clip is really hard to pull off, too. Yeah, when the sub-pixels aren't there, it's annoying. And they, speaking of annoying, Icarus entering the level without a power-up. It would take the th 100... I'm gonna set 1,000 coin fine. 100 coin fine. Ooh, it does have a P-Wing. I it need a sense of deja vu. You know what I mean? William has found the army. Which, we'll see what item this is, is we got fanfare for Icarus, but when you're at zero lives, you will definitely take it, because that's the insurance policy right there. Now, and Red Boy does get the clip, so it's didn't lose second place by much. Only a few seconds behind now. And that's a good item that William just picked up. That's a cloud. Now, unfortunately, we'll be missing out on a cloud the other two did get. A star and a P-Wing. So, Ratboy does have a P-Wing, so I'm surprised Ratboy didn't take the fine. Oh, here we go. Atlantis has been found, and Icarus wants absolutely no part of it. We'll take the one five beta instead. You know what? I would have I would have laughed if that was five nine. <laughs> it would be I've so actually fun. had that happen before. It is kind of amusing as William takes an unfortunate death in the fort. He's gonna have to replay Oh and look who else found Atlantis. That would be Rat Boy and just like Icarus wants no part of it. Let's take the other path, and well, like I said, we got a beta level. I'm okay with it be beta level or beta level. And one of them being Atlantis. I know chat's gonna be disappointed that nobody played it, but you know what? They didn't have to, so I can't fault them. Gotta be careful. It's kind of funny with random music. It's like, you don't expect the music to be fitting so well. Yeah, I know, right? You see that in other randomizers. I know Zoot are case in point for that, for those who've played that. And it's a two-hit shrimp, and the star runs out, so nobody's going to be going upside down. Unfortunately, oh, William oh, missed William, the jump, no. and you don't want to do that because you might as well let out a goofy yell because it is a long way down. And the anchor's anchor. a fire flower. I don't think that's what William wanted in this instance, but that is what the heart of the cards gave. Well, at least it is a power-up, so that's a good thing. Yeah, at least it wasn't a music box because in this situation, that'd be just annoying. It would, it, would, it would have been funny if it was a frog suit. Yeah, but there's another problem that I need to call attention to briefly. And it's no, it's not that missing screw. Look at his lives counter. William is out. He needs to be careful here. And of course we have our famous Wendy O. Koopa. And he gets Takes fire kill. That's a very good strat. Ratboy whistles into seven. Three pipe Monty to open. So Ratboy uses it on world three. Oh, oh. and it's into seven F2 while small. And Ratboy misses the power up jump, and in seven F2, a miss jump often spells a trip. To the lava. Lava land. Hmm. And then misses the jump the other way and gets a fireball. That is most certainly frustrating, no doubt about it. See, in this scenario on William's side, I would take a hundred coin penalty just to reset my lives. Yeah, but then William loses the power up, and I don't think I would want that necessarily. So for this 7F2 run, oh, maybe, oh, I 
big guy know what he's thinking. He may be thinking, find the pipe that goes around that. If this is, this can't be it. But if it were, say, yep, you're not getting around it. You might as well play it. So here comes William into 7F2. No lives, but a fire flower, any dream. But the question is, is this the fort that will make you happy or sad? It's the one that's required. This is a fast world 7, too. Indeed. Oh, God. I could see a... I could see Icarus actually, uh, skipping pipe land. William being very careful here. Understandably so, a missed jump. And go going into the lava for due to a missed jump here is a game over. Okay, getting hit by the thwomp is bad, you lose fire, but that's okay. You're still going. We have some simultaneous world clears to talk about. Ratboy and Icaros, both clearing their respective worlds. William did go small. Did get much from back. Gotta be careful. Just take it easy. Slow and steady. Beats the level. Yeah, this is one. Yeah, this is one area where slow and steady I find to be a very good strategy, which is why I don't typically go for P speed here because that's just now those who can do the P speed for seven F two and do it confidently, more power to you. It's not something that I can do with confidence. I don't think grows. William wanted to get hit there. Oh, rap boy takes a fall. That might have been a missed jump input. But with Air Force in the required path of World 2, it would make sense to play it. And Icarus is going to go through to check these pipes. I think it's going to probably whistle here shortly. Nope, not whistling. Instead, playing the first Piranha stage. I don't think anybody played that. No, it's no one's played it because it's not in the necessary path. Got a music box, box though, which might help. Question mark. Oh, but William comes up with a whistle. Oh, that yeah. could be huge. And that was a second plant level? Yes, meanwhile, Icarus finding 7-1. This would be a case of just eat the fine. The 3F2 for Rat Boy. And a 4-4 sighting for Icaros. Gets the bounce off the Lakitu. Gets a second bounce off Lakitu, so that's two Lakitu down. I'm watching the Spinies raining and not getting dessert. Yeah, you think the Spiny Rain is scary there with these flags? The patcher has an option to where those, where the Lakitu start leading their shots into your path. Icarus is routing this way different. But oh. did find a workaround. So it worked out, even though it was definitely longer than playing 7F2. I don't think it... she went in the 7F2. But does get a second. Oh no. That's a second warp bristle as well. 
and unfortunately, William does that get a game is a over. game over, but it was early enough in World Two to where that is not a lot of territory lost. Had that been two worlds ago versus Wendy, that would have been worse. Yeah. But in this case, at the start of a world, not that oh. bad. I wonder if the patcher added, like, if you get game over, you have to do uh, forts again. That would be No, just... Sharky, let's not give Fred and McCobra any ideas. <laughs> that would just be rude. Speaking of rude, Rat Boy getting dive-bombed by a Paragoon. We're going to have to go back and get a power-up. So, is Icaro's having two Warp Russells? I wonder when they're going to get used. That's a very good question. In theory, she could use them to skip Desert Hill and the next world. She's just going to skip Desert Hill. So that's going to put her in the lead. Next world's World 5. I would skip this one myself, and that's exactly what she does. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Matt. And we got World 4. Takes a night. I lead. didn't see the layout for World 4, so I'm not exactly sure what it looked like because I was switching audio, but <laughs> we'll see how it plays out. Oh, a nice mushroom power up in a block. I did see a fort where a fort is normally. I don't see the other pipe. We have ourselves the pyramid level. And William's just gonna skip over this nonsense, move on to the next world. Doesn't want to backtrack, I don't blame him. Did... Did... Did Rat Boy actually skip, put the Parna to sleep, and did that get the warp crystal? I believe. I'm not sure. It was something that I missed. Chat, I'm ho pretty sure saw it. I can always ask post race. And check if I can confirm what happened. If Rat Boy did that. You now, it wouldn't be the first time that a critical item was missed by skipping a piranha in a race, weekly or otherwise, because, hey, I did that in my first race against Pro-8, and it wound up being a hammer. So what seemed like a good idea at the time wound up costing me the race. And then, ooh, hand stages Oh, this is spicy. Cloud. Hand levels being cloud, so Skyworld already giving William something that Icaros isn't going to have. And Icaros did use a cloud much earlier. Oh, and we've got ourselves a hammer suit. And with the Toad House being on, I sense a stock up. Hits a different frame, gets a frog suit this time. Icarus into 1-5. Ooh, oh, nice oh, Paragoon nice. by kill. That nice. was awesome. That was a nice combo of kills. Hey, they need to start... They need to start William into 5-9 Diagonal Doom and is not taking a 100 coin fine despite having a cloud. Did he cloud into it? I don't know. I didn't see. Oh, 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 nice save! Ooh. If, if Rome did not have a tell there, that would have just been bad. But nice save! Rap boy into the pyramid. We got Donut Fort. Homer Simpson's favorite fort. Mm -hmm. Donuts. Okay, don't... Don't need a drill! Icarus got caught in between two enemies there. Back to start. Got stuck between fire and a boo. 
Maybe it was a fire bill. It's 1-3 with giant enemies. This will have a whistle, so William could get right back into this. Oh my goodness, this flag set is giving me ideas that are actually good. Set of Warp Bristle. A router type setup. A routing contest setup similar to Router's Relish, Routle Mania. Yeah, stuff to talk about behind the scenes. And this should be a Warp Bristle because they didn't get randomized out. Not this time. Oh, Icaros taking yet another death. It is not going into any items whatsoever. Yeah, there comes a point where you just gotta take a power up, like a P Wing or something, or just grab the star and run. Oh, William, oh, double Cheater clown. Bro! Get out of here, Cheater Bro! Nobody wants to deal with your nonsense! So, William, double clouds. Skips two levels. And that four Icarus played is the answer. It is World 6 airship. I, now I see why she saved the P-Wing. Fly over the mass to truly fly first class in style. Might as well ask it now. How many bridges are we going to see? I'm sick of my answer from last time. And it grows a And she's low. short of the off screen one grab. I'm going two minus one. I'm gonna say four just because. And William's not really far behind either. Because William does have yeah, a. Yeah, all he's gotta do is blow the warp, toot the warp whistle rather, and he's right there in world eight. We got ourselves a race, folks. That's. Say second seed, second with all three runners, really. Gonna be in world eight. You know it's a great equalizer as well. Yeah, and this is where routing your world eight. Well, to start off, Icarus sees fort, Icarus plays fort. It is the door six fort, world three. And this point in the seed, I'm probably not going for door three just because it's late and I don't want to cost myself. And it and looks like Rat Boy is in position and has yeah. himself a vertical screen rack. Nicely done. So we got ourselves a, a race, folks. For so real. Rat Boy, yeah, so Rat Boy's one world behind. I don't think he has a warp whistle. Uh Rap Boy's oh. entering World 8, so oh, wait, this mind. is a race by definition, and Icaro sees the fort, does not play it. That is an interesting decision. And Zero in chat calling out three lock scene. We did not see any action from that what first fort as to whether anything broke or not. Well, time to get lost in these uh, parts of the woods. That pipe didn't The elbow is nothing, so. Gotta play the fort, I think. And Midi Guy pointing out the level tile on the handbridge could be the way. That is a possibility. Icaro oh. seems to think that too and is clouding it. Let's see. There's is that the rock. real tank or the fake tank? It is a real tank. It is 6F2. Could this be the answer or just a break the lock to get out of jail situation? So the pipe that Rat Boy took is on the other side of the lock. Hmm. Right now it's hard to tell who's in the lead here. But the level that Icarus skipped was the 3-9 beta. And that boy is going through it, so... William is here. Oh, and there. that is just a get out of jail thing situation. The situation, or rather the answer is 6F1, and we got ourselves a fanfare from William. Yep. And that's the third lock I've seen. So, we got two more locks. I'm at one more lock. 
or a bridge. Oh, and Icaros gets caught by the Roto Disc, and Disco is not dead. You gotta be careful. Just chilling with frogs. And doing some frog warm ups. Same yumpy, same yumpy, different power up. All the same. Very gross, taking some damage. Takes it one, takes it two, takes it three. Boom boom is defeated. Will this break the lock next to us? Or will it break something else? Has to break the one in front because there's no other way thing it could be. Air Force tiles, of course. And that is basically French vanilla. As guess what? It's Gatekeeper. <laughs> you know what else? This is super French vanilla because isn't it the, tile, the same tile this level's on as well? <laughs> Hence the turn. He's like, hey, I don't want to move today. I'm going to sit right here, not move. And Rat Boy also joins in the same level here. And William, William is a fort behind in 6F1. This has been a fantastic second race. No doubt about it, regardless of who wins it. Let's get a free power up. William gets Disco Waffled as well, the same one that got Icaros. And Rat Boy makes the do one cycle. And oh, right we got behind. broad legs. Somebody's got hungry. That was a lock that broke, and that lock was the one that I believe blocked the pipe to the promised land. And Icaros is there with a free shot, no bridges, but you had to play everything. And that anchors a firefire. Oh, look at this! Rap Boy is right there. <laughs> this is going to come down to clipping, or this comes down to execution of your strat. And Rap Boy going up and over. Oh, is he really seriously trying a clip here? Is this this is oh, some God. Mitch Flower Power level stuff right here. Battle of the Clips. Let's go. Icarus does stop. Icarus not, says nothing. to heck with it. Rat Boy hung up. Can this be the difference though? Icarus lost fire though. And Rat Boy is not getting the sub pixel. This, there's nothing more frustrating than trying to clip and not getting the sub pixel. And Gers is chilling with Bowser, giving him some hug. And Rat Boy finally gets the clip. However, Icaros is already in the Bowser fight. Is William in the final fort of the seed? And as Rat Boy starts the Bowser fight, Icaros is gonna bring it to a close. Get your GG's in chat. Yep. Woo! What a finish! Just don't jump. Just don't jump in a pit on accident. I've seen somebody do or that. Or get too. burned by the last fireball. I actually know someone who did that. But anyway, get your GG's in chat for yep. Icaros, who takes first in the second race overall with an official time of. 32-45. Real good seed. Both pretty quick. And that's time for Rat Boy coming up soon, so get, keep those GG's rolling into chat. This one for Rat Boy. Yep. As For's now William is about to enter Bowser's castle. And William yep. had the hammer suits. Yep. 
Yeah, Rambo even finishes with oh, a 33 oh, well, I, Correction, William lost it. Oh, unfortunate. Those lasers are rude. Yep. That's why I try to jump over them myself if I don't have a star. But this was a three ray race that was close and all. Jeez, all peace. Well, we're going to see if Funners of Power Lee want to jump in here momentarily. William versus Bowser right now. I wonder if Bowser's going to try to cheat some more. We got to talk about that during the interview. But what the hell did Bowser do in that, in that first race? I don't know. Oh, Come William on, just ate William. a fireball. Ouch. Oh. William does have a second hammer. And we're joined now by Icarus, the winner of the second race. GG. Oh, that was fun. And that came down wicked close in the second race. Oh, I can imagine, yeah, when I saw the race time that he finished, like, kind of 30 second dish afterwards, I was like, uh oh, like, or he lost his fire flower or something else happened, I don't know, but I was, I was scared. <laughs> yeah, so he went too far. for some Never Mitch Flower heard. power level of stuff. He used a P-Wing and tried to clip in Bowser's basement, and the sub-pixel just was not there. Uh, yeah, like, it, it's very interesting to go uh, for the basement clip in Rambo because either way, if you go to the to the statue room, there's still no chance that you are gonna make it out alive, you know, because of the laser, so I wouldn't recommend, I mean, not the laser, but the fire flower, so I wouldn't recommend going for the basement clip myself. So I can try bye, Bowser, bye Bowser, bye Bowser, get your GG's for William. What a finish. GG, All three of you entering World 8 roughly the same time in this yep. second no race. Way. Within like, what, one minute, I believe? It was uh, entering that. And you know, eight World 8 is always a great equalizer. And get GG's out. Time, by the way. With that 36-18, finishes this off. The second race. Whew. So Leslie, would you ever try with warp bristles on before at any time? I won't. That, I wouldn't say no to it because that certainly made things very interesting and adds another level of strategy to this randomizer. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of a strategy, like, my strategy of, you know, whistling uh, World 7 in the first race wasn't the best idea. <laughs> and GG's William, welcome in. GG William, that was a fantastic run and a fantastic finish. Thanks, that was so close. That warp whistle use really is what... That warp whistle, as we were just discussing, really adds another level of strategy to this randomizer. Because yeah. it's not only how many you get, it's where you use them. And where you use them really propelled you for a large portion of this seed. But yeah. Icarus I I and Ratboy would both catch up. Yeah. I wish I hadn't gotten greedy in Desert World. I tried playing the Ford in case, uh, in case I could get around whistling Desert World. And that cost me a bit of time. Did anyone else get the basic fort whistle, or is that just me? You all and, went for it. Yeah, all right. I I'm believe Rat, Rat Boy was the only one that did not get the whistle from the piranha plant. Ah, uh, the, the plant. Okay, that was the one. Oh. Yeah, that, that was... 
Yeah, basic four was kind of weird. Like I, I realized like I can't get a leaf, so I have to die, and then come back big. And I also used up some lives, which cost me some time. That's another way I lost this one. But yeah, these whistles, man. Okay, so Rat Boy did get, get the one from a plant because I wasn't really hundred percent paying attention. So yeah, yeah. I mean. We found a way where I could almost beat Rat Boy, so this is pretty wild. I have no business beating Rat Boy. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I disagree like, with like, that. Y'all played this scene incredibly well. Just some stuff to clean up, and you are right there. I swear yeah. it. I mean, yeah, in my defense, be... that 4F2 did me, did me dirty. Like... Like yeah, 4F2 really wasn't did. my fault. It was the the roach, the the roach hot food and the the bull. Like in one drop input. Like come on. <laughs> yeah, those drops. Yeah, input. that's rough. <laughs> yeah, there was a different stra difference in strategy in uh, Pipeland, where you know we, two two of you guys did seven F two. And one didn't, so I, I'm that thinking, was interesting. Oh my, yeah. like, really, it always has to be Piranha Fort. That is my least favorite level in the entire game. I'd rather play Atlantis than play Piranha Fort. To, we did to be fair, Atlantis was my least favorite. What, what, there was Atlantis? I must have clouded it. Yeah, I found it. Oof, uh, it was in World Six. It was in the fork of World Six. Uh, in be like, uh, when you're like in that final portion of the map, in between six nine and six ten, it was the six ten location. Yeah. Okay, Ice Worlds. I uh, I whistled that one. I think. I, I think you did. I, I need to watch back this. This is definitely very interesting. Definitely, both races were close. Both races are good, and at least no, boss bass could die hungry. Or that maybe next time. Miracle. That was the but true cheap, miracle. Cheap. At no point did I get eaten by a fish. But cheap, cheap got somebody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was, don't talk to me about it. <laughs> that was that was just <laughs> the, the cheap game being for two. Ah, it's always typical. Like it, it's a classic, and it's a it's a textbook chip chip, and I still fell for it. <laughs> but either way, I hope that everybody got entertained. You know, like that the by the weekly matches. Um, thanks, uh, Leslie and Sharky for um, commentating, and looking forward to watch back this because definitely I need to study. <laughs> you know, like better like. Uh, map routing for this uh, week four uh, race. So, yeah. I need to get myself Thank back you. into Z1, uh, not Z1, SMB 3R, so. <laughs> I'm into now, This is certainly going to be an interesting week for League folks, especially on the Tanuki division, because this is a unique flag set that they're using, and it's going to add another level of strategy to this randomizer that personally I am a big fan of. Definitely. Can't wait. Hopefully we could break the sub-20 barrier. Just imagine that. Oh dear. Okay, who do you think I am? A cobra? Mustard? <laughs> I kid, I kid. But I, something like that, it would take a lot of the right circumstances to happen for it to happen. Just saying. Yeah. We're talking about maybe finding, like, the three whistles, uh, hands having whistles, and probably like a free world aid like a like a two pipes and done world aid some so, something like that but it's not impossible but it's still very hard to get you know the probabilities are so minimum yep long odds for sure yeah both races were good so 
It was oh, fun to call. Absolutely. So, any final thoughts on tonight's two races? I think we learned some things for the Tanuki matches this week. And, uh, yeah, it should be really good. And maybe I can break into the top two this week. I think we found a way. Yeah, the, yeah, I'm interested in seeing what happens for sure. As we've got other league matches coming in this coming week. So stay tuned for that. And we've also got a full schedule on speed gaming tomorrow. Well, not... Well, there's stuff coming, but I'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, please give all three of our featured runners a follow. William, Icarus, and Ratboy, as well as Sharky and myself, if you feel so inclined. As for what's coming tomorrow on the speed gaming side of things, we have got at 1 o'clock a Link to the Past randomizer... The Enemizer Tournament, a match between Shady Force and Someone325. I do love me some Enemizer, personally. Not everything has a channel, but I can tell you what has a channel. Both of those are at 3. On Speed Gaming Prime at 3 is Metroid Prime Cross Game Cup. That is a randomizer involving two different games in a multi-world 2v2 setting. It is a lot of fun. And then Speed Gaming 2 at that time also has SMZ3 Normal 774 starting with Boots. And at 5.30, the Link to the Past Randomizer Open Weekly. And at 9.30, to round things out, it is the Valentine's Day V-Dux race for the Zelda 1 Randomizer Weekly. So, that's going to be... That's good. That's probably... Be, uh... Oh, that's probably going to be fun to watch. Definitely need a Z1R. Yeah. Do I, do I tempt myself? <laughs> Don't try to play in that. Yeah, I'm not excited. Mm. I have an idea of what that entails. Something about getting all of the red items in the game. But we'll see this time come Sunday. So that Sharky, this was a lot of fun. But... That, it's time to call it a night. Control. Yep. Just remember, just make sure you feed your boss passes. Healthy, he healthy food. Maybe throw in a toad or something. They might like toads, you never know. Ribbit. Anyways, take care, enjoy your night. Alright, and with that... For everyone behind the scenes at Speed Gaming, my co-com Sharky, and the three runners on screen, which would be William, Icarus, and Ratboy, I'm Leslie Pro saying, until next time, stay kind, stay safe, and we will see you in the next race. Take care, everybody. Good night. See ya.